Hello again. This is Isaac. And I realized that I don't have an updated collection video. I did one, but it wasn't too great and I kind of ended up deleting it. So, this is going to be a quick look at my current collection. Uh, minus two sabers. Those being the Saber Forge Rapier MK3. That's the brand new Rapier. It's a beautiful saber. Um, and my Saber Forge Bane MK2, which is currently being installed. Um, when they arrive, of course, I will shoot videos of each and have pictures. So, um, let's get to it then, shall we? This is my current collection of sabers. Now, I used to have quite a few more. Um, better part of 30 or so. 35. About 35. And that had to go away, some things had to happen, and so this is what I currently have as a Sabre collection. So, let's take a look at them. This is the Dark Wolf Bastion. This one, you can see the pins in there? This one is one of the Xenopixel Sabres. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep doing Xenopixel or not, but... Uh, it's one of them, and I enjoy it. I like it a lot. Next to that is the Rebel Saber's Mystic Knight. Now this, this is a beautiful saber. I've said it many, many times. Look at that thing. Gorgeous saber. If you are even thinking about possibly getting one of these, you got to do it. And now is the time. Check this out. Very nice. This is the RGB version. Um, they do have it in NeoPixel as well. I kind of uh, lean towards the, um, the RGB, the inhilt type. Uh, NeoPixel is great, but I don't want to swing them around too much. I don't want to damage them. Um, that kind of thing. I'm, I'm not really dueling with them. So if I wanted to, I'd want something that I could actually duel with and wouldn't have to worry about breaking the blade on. So a lot of my sabers are going to be, well, actually the majority of them are um, going to be RGB in hilt type sab uh, sabers. Next to that, this is actually the Ultra Sabers uh, Crimson Empress. I had two. I had uh, the dark one, a black one, and this red one. So I, along with a friend of mine who purchased the other one, uh, we kind of did a little mashup here. And this is, this is my Crimson Empress. Um, had some pictures on my YouTube of them. And this one has all those nice little features that Ultra Sabers gives you. You know, the V4 soundboard and color changing options, those types of things. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's kind of my own thing and I like that. Next to it is the Saber Forge Count. This was a custom build that was done for me. By Jim over at Black Lion Sabers. Um, yeah, that is a kill key there. Uh, it's a beautiful saber. If you're thinking about getting one of these, you need to get one. You really need to get one. Check out that claw. It is gorgeous. It's not as big as you think, but it is just as nice, believe me. Um, that's Saber Forge. So go in and check them out. Up here is another install done by Jim over at Black Line Sabers. This is my Corbanth Skinny Flex. Um, yeah. <laughs> I only have one, uh, well, I have a couple of Graph Flex type sabers. This is the only one that I kind of wanted. Um, you know, with the chrome, just solid chrome, and the switch plate. I love this saber. Um, Jim installed this for me. Black Line Sabers installed it for me. Um, that button is functional. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. May the 4th, guys. There's lots of good Saber deals going on. You might want to get in on some. There are lots of good sound font deals going on as well. Um, Repulse Collectibles, my buddy Fours uh, over there, and Link. Those guys are doing some great things, so you might want to get in. Take a look at that. Uh, 
rest of the collection. Let's go here. This saber has been a favorite of mine from the very beginning. This was my first diamond saber. This is an Ultra Sabers Emperor's Hand. Um, yeah, it, it, it's the Myra Jade saber. Um, I, I don't know what it is about this saber, but it's it's mine. Um, and I got my little features on the other wall on it. And this is also a diamond saber, so I can change the colors. I can change the multiple sound fonts. I can do all of that. Um, this was like a dream saber for me and got it with the ankled activation switch that lights up. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very happy to have it in my collection. This, ah, big boy, is the Ultra Sabers Renegade LE. That's a pommel. And it is, <laughs> it's a beast. It's beautiful. I can't say anything bad about it. A little heavy for some. Not for me. I, 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 I like the weight. I think it's comfortable. Um, but it is a big saber. It is a big saber. It does have a couple of little pointy edges on it. But all in all, it is a beautiful saber. Um, and right now, the only cross guard I have in my collection, I'm thinking about adding another one, though. Um, and we'll go over that in a minute. This is the only Vader Saber I have. It's the Ultra Saber's chosen one. I know there are more accurate Sabers out there for Vader. Um, I know that some people have issues with Ultra Sabers. I personally don't. I like their Sabers. Um, I don't have many... Well, I have most of the ones in this collection are what I had left from Ultra Sabers, who I started with. But... Um, yeah, no, I've looked at the other Vader Sabres, and to be honest with you, I mean, this is just what I like for my Vader Saber. Um, simple, I know it's not accurate, um, don't beat me up for that, I don't care, this is my collection, it's what I like, it's what I want to do. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. This one I just got, um, and I don't know why I wanted this Saber so bad, probably because um, a friend on... Uh, Ultra Saber Saber Form, Prowl 1701 had convinced me that this was a really cool saber. And you know what? He was right. It's kind of small, but it's very, very comfortable, ridiculously comfortable. I guess it was supposed to be the dark version of um, their Luke Saber, the Graflex. It's kind of Graflex-like. Um, and this is the only stunt saber I currently have. But I like it. I'm happy with it. Some people don't like this particular one. Uh, they say it looks like a table leg, a turkey leg, all kinds of stuff. But I like it. This is the Ultra Sabers. Um, what the heck? I forgot the name. Monarch. Monarch. This is the Ultra Sabers Monarch CE. It's nickel plated. Um, it is gorgeous. I, I, I love this saber. Um, here's a pommel. I absolutely love this saber. Some people don't like it. I don't care. Like I said, I, I my collection is my collection. Um, this is one of the few sabers I, I'm just not going to... I'd never give it up. I like it. I really do. So, another favorite of mine. This is the Scorpion. Also by Ultra Sabers. The Scorpion. And there's a Scorpion claw on that thing. Yeah, machined. There's the top of it. A little blade plug action. I love this one. They have two versions. They have a black and uh, chrome version, and then they have this crimson version, crimson scorpion. Um, yeah, this is for me. This is for me. Absolutely. Love this saber. All right. Next one. This is the Saber Forge Rapier. Now, they have two rapiers out. They have a um, second rapier that just came out. That's the MK3. This is the MK2, the original rapier by Saber Forge. Um, you can see it's a gorgeous saber. Um, this is an empty, of course. I'm going to have it installed. That's where the switches are, guys, in case you're wondering. Uh, two switches would go right here. Um, it's got a blade plug in it. It's got um, windows, so when you have your blade in there, it'll shine through. And you know what? It's got really good balance. I think right there is where I'm balancing it. If I had a blade in there, it'd be a little bit, a little bit more balanced, I think. Um, and that's the pommel. 
but I, I love this saber. And like I said, I have just uh, managed to acquire the next rapier. It's a little bit different. I think I said it's an Italian uh, style uh, rapier. So yeah, I will be showing that as soon as I get it. Put that back up there. This saber is from Dark Wolf Sabers, LGT company. Dark Wolf Sabers, they have some beautiful sabers. Uh, and, and they've got a lot of new ones. Um, the Interrogator, which is a cross guard saber, which I'm contemplating. Um, you guys let me know what you think about that. They have a, a new Ahsoka saber. They have a, a Qui-Gon saber. Um, I know I'm missing something. They got, they got a couple of more new ones, so I'm, I'm just not thinking about right now. Um, but this, this is the Obi-Wan saber. Um, this is the Neil Pixel version. Shout out to my boy, Darth Ravens. Uh, you know what you did for me, homie. And I am so, so grateful to have this saber in my collection. It is the only thin neck I have. And it is ridiculously comfortable. And I love it. I love everything about it. I'm happy to have it. If you guys are thinking about getting one, get you one of these. Dark Wolf Sabers. Beautiful, beautiful saber. This uh, is the Ultra Saber Spectre. I had thought about selling this thing, but you know what? I really, really like it. I can't let it go. It's a part of my collection. Um, well, that might change, but I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Um, this has the, a dark um, blue violet amethyst uh, blade to it. It's, it's nice. It's really nice. I would fire these up, but a lot of them don't have the batteries charged. Um, cover tech wheel. And there's the pommel for this one. It's a beautiful saber. You can get this one with just a solid black here um, instead of having all the circuitry. Um, and this, it, this, this engraving is incredible, guys. It really is. I mean, say what you want about Ultra Sabers. Some people don't like them. Like I said, I, I do. This, this is a beautiful, beautiful saber. And I am very happy to have it in my collection. And last but not least, this is the Rebel Sabers Solstice. Okay? Um, another LGT saber. You know, it's got the illuminated AV switch. It's got the recharge port built in. Um, it's... It's just nice. It is fun. The shroud does come off. If you wanted to take it off, you could swap it with something else. I wouldn't. I got it this way just because I love it this way. And like I said, this is my collection. I'll do what I want to do with it. You do what you want to do with yours. Everybody be happy. This is this is a very happy uh, group of enthusiasts. So you can do what you want to do with your collection. Anyway. Here it is, one more time, Solstice Spectre, Obi-Wan, really like that Obi-Wan. Rapier. Crimson Scorpion. I love that saber. The Chosen One. CE Edition. Nickel plated. Behind it, of course, the Dark Prophecy. My Monarch CE. It's nickel plated. And I don't care what people think. I love it. The big boy in my group. The Renegade LE. And yes, there is a center blade. I usually go 36, but you can go up to 40. My all-time favorite, I don't know why, it just is the Emperor's Hand. The Count.
for a more quick look. I'm telling you, if you don't have this saber and you're thinking about getting one, wow, it is gorgeous. You really, really, really ought to think about getting one. My own personal Crimson Empress. Add my own little flair to it. Again, this engraving that they do is really, really nice. The etching, I guess. Etching. It's etched. It's not engraved. My skinny flex. <laughs> this, this is just a beautiful saber, no matter how you look at it. It just is. Oh, the Mystic Knight. I love, love, love the Mystic Knight. It is. It is. It just is. Uh, Rebel Sabers, you killed it with this one. And this saber is exclusive to Rebel Sabers. Um, you're not going to find any other LGT uh, saber distributors that have this particular saber. Only Rebel Sabers. So, check them out. Um, the Bastion. My Xenopixel. Now, as we look at this, um, I just thought of something. Um, I'm also expecting from Rebel Sabers their new Lights Avenger. That should be arriving soon. Um, pick that one up. It's basically Leia's Saber, only they kind of took away the thin neck portion. They made it beefier. Um, I cannot wait to get that in my hands. I will happily show you when it shows up. Same thing with my uh, my Bane, my Saber Forge Bane MK2, which is being installed right now. Well, I'll talk about that when it's done. And my new Saber Forge Rapier MK3. Pictures are online; they have them available right now. If you're thinking about getting one, you better snatch it up because it's going to disappear, people. It's going to take forever to get back into uh, stock. I'm sorry this video ran so long, but that's the whole collection. Uh, if you have any comments, you have any questions, um, if you like it, if you didn't like it, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. Also, it'd be nice if you'd subscribe. I'd appreciate that. Um, that's it, folks. May the force be with you.